For joining us on the news to discuss the Federal Executive Council meeting valedictory session is the Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Sandy Dari. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Well, it's four days to inauguration and uh, we can say four more days as Minister of Youth and Sports Development. Uh, what does it feel like counting down to uh, your last day as Minister in this administration? Thank you so much, TVC, for having me. You know, really, you know, once everything that has the beginning also has the terminal date. So from the very first day, uh, most of us knew that uh, at the end of our tenure, which will come at the prescribed time, four years, we were prepared. What was important was that we all kept our eye at the tip of the spear. We kept our eyes uh, focused on the ball and what the assignment we were given by Mr. President. And today offered an opportunity for us to thank Mr. President for giving us a rare opportunity, but more importantly, to also recall some of our personal experience and encounters with Mr. President, to thank him for the support he gave us, but also mention a few milestones and major things that we achieved in our different ministries. So the validatory section was very expository, was very uh, frank, but was very objective and impactful. Mm. And then in April, you granted an interview where you said your job is actually done as a minister. Uh, would you say you're leaving the ministry better than you met it? Absolutely. You know, government is a, is a, is a continuum. Uh, there's also a limit to what you can achieve in four years, not to talk of uh, in eight years, not to talk of four years. As at April, I was uh, so what happened was that I've been able to lay on the ground sustainable models for the initiatives and projects that we started. Because we started with a plan, improve athletes welfare and support, take a stab at infrastructural decay and begin a reformation process. And also put down a document that would turn sports into business. We achieved all of this. Some of it not to 100% because of fund limitation. When it comes to youth, we said there was a, there's a need to start to invest in our youth, move away from mere empowerment, pocket money, stipend, to investing in their skills, their innovative minds and enterprise. We got the 75 billion Naira Youth Investment Fund established and approved for the first time. We also embarked on digital skills acquisition and training. We live in a digital world. We train over 340,000, and the list goes on. You saw what we did. Our Commonwealth exploit, the best performance ever. We also gave this country, that for the first time, the world champion, Tobi Musa. And the list goes on. Every single sport had a touch of this government. So having looked at all of that, we've set up sustainable models. What remains is just the plug-in as we go along. And that's why I said, my job is done to the extent to which I have come, I have made challenges, we overcome most of them, and I'm confident that whoever comes along can plug in, use these policies, these initiatives and documents to continue to improve sports development and also youth development in our country. Mm. Mr. Dara, let's talk about some of the drama that you know played out in the course of this administration. Not a few persons were disappointed that Nigeria was not represented you know, in Qatar in 2022 at the World Cup. Uh, I mean, how do you see this and how have you been able to reassure the people and, uh, you know, of course, uh, get their confidence in you to deliver? Well, you know, you know, life is not a hundred percent. Sports is not also a hundred percent. Yes, regrettably, Nigeria did not qualify uh, for the World Cup. That was a massive disappointment. But also, you know, the reasons for non-qualification are many. When you look at the team build-up 
Football also is a game. When you look at the team build-up, when you look at a few of the challenges that were encountered, when you look at the departure from the DNA of our football, when you look at the technical depth of our team, sometimes what you put in is what you get out of it. So what you have done is after not qualifying, and you several other countries did not qualify, is no excuse. Well, you know, sports is not 100%. What is important is that you, you get up, you rebuild, and you see the changes you can bring forth. Don't forget, after that non-qualification, the president directed and we put together a committee for the 10-year football master plan. As we speak, the football master plan has been approved and is operational to the extent that our national league, which is the backbone of our football, once a country's national league is solid and robust, you are going to end up with a solid national team. We've been able to reinvent our Premier League through the IMC. And a season just ended last week. We have seen massive improvements. And we think over time, we'll rebuild our national team, we'll bring back the DNA, the focus, and the tenacity of our football. And that's what is important. All right, so in the four days as you count down, we're hoping to see more action even in your Ministry of Sport and uh, Youth Development. I must sincerely appreciate you, Mr. Sonny Dari. Absolutely, for... absolutely. More action. We'll be handing over the Obafemi Aula Stadium to Oyo. Mm. Indeed, Nigerians are looking forward to that and, of course, to what would happen in the new administration as well. Thank you very much, Mr. Sunday Dari, for talking to us on TVC News at 7.